us now move on to the properties of ethanoic acid. Properties of ethanoic acid. Right? Now, ethanoic acid is basically a carboxylic acid with the formula CH3, COOH, and it is a carboxylic acid. Right. Now, carboxylic acids are usually weak acids. Right? They are weak acids. That is, they do not completely ionize in water or they do not ionize completely in water okay so ch3coh that is ethanoic acid is a weak acid okay and they do not ionize completely in water another property of the ch3coh is of its dilute form that is 5 to 8 percent dilute acetic acid five to eight percent dilute ethanoic acid is basically what we call vinegar right it is basically what we call vinegar and this vinegar is basically a constituent of our food or food ingredient and it is used in making food tangy and sour right giving a sour taste to food so that is your five to eight percent dilute ethanoic acid vinegar right then the common name for this is acetic acid the common name is acetic acid it's very commonly called acetic acid but its IUPAC name is ethanoic acid 5 to 8 percent dilute ethanoic acid vinegar food ingredient it is a weak acid since it is a carboxylic acid and it does not ionize completely in water right now pure acetic acid or pure ethanoic acid that is purest form of ethanoic acid is called glacial acetic acid glacial ethanoic acid or glacial acetic acid right and it has a melting point melting point of 290 kelvin 290 kelvin and it often freezes often freezes in winter it often freezes in winter hence it is called glacial hence there is the name glacial because it often freezes in winter right and glaciers you know they are frozen icebergs right so glacial acetic acid right so I've, i hope that's absolutely clear these are this is the basic you know uh, outline of the physical properties right all these are the physical properties now we come to the chemical properties right chemical properties of ethanoic acid Now, the chemical properties, the first and foremost thing which we've already done, okay, is the esterification reaction. Now, first is esterification. And I have told you it reacts, ethanoic acid reacts with alcohols to form esters, right? It will react with alcohol to form ester. For example, CH3COOH, that is ethanoic acid, reacts with ethanol, C2H5OH okay in the presence of concentrated h2so4 and it gives you what it gives you ch3 coo c2h5 which is your what what is this called it is called your ethyl ethanoate right and it is your ester right now this ester right its properties are that it is number one sweet smelling okay it has a fruity sweety smell and it is used in perfumes and flavorants and flavoring agents it is used in flavoring agents and perfumes okay and this ester can undergo hydrolysis right ester can undergo 
hydrolysis. Ester can undergo hydrolysis that is breaking in the presence of water, division in the presence of water. Now it can go hydro undergo hydrolysis, right? Now this ester hydrolysis I will be covering in the next video in a lot of detail, right? But you understand that ester can undergo hydrolysis either in an acidic medium or in a basic medium, right? So understand that. We can actually just cover it here actually, it's okay. So ester can undergo hydrolysis that is breaking in water in either basic medium or acidic medium. Number one, in acidic medium. In acidic medium, your, hydro, your ester will simply undergo hydrolysis to give the constituent, this H2OH plus means acidified water, to give simply a carboxylic acid, carboxylic acid plus alcohol. That's it. So, so the ester will undergo hydrolysis in acidic medium to simply form carboxylic acid and alcohol from which it was formed. Right? That's it. That's your acidic medium uh, hydro, uh, hydrolysis for ester. Next in basic medium. Now in a basic medium, basically an ester can undergo hydrolysis in a basic medium in the presence of water and some base for example NaOH or Mg whatever usually I'm taking your NaOH so if I'm taking NaOH then it will give a sodium salt of ester sorry sodium salt of carboxylic acid sodium salt of carboxylic acid plus alcohol right so basically when we hydrolyze an ester in a basic medium we will get the sodium salt of the carboxylic acid from which the ester was obtained and then the alcohol okay so let's take an example of this and this basically this hydrolysis in basic medium is called saponification it is called saponification because it is used in the manufacture of soap okay because it is used in the manufacture of soap that is why it is called saponification reaction so let us take an example to understand this for example i have this only let's take our favorite ester ch3 coo c2h5 that is ethyl ethanoate and this undergoes hydrolysis in the presence of naoh right then you know that this is formed due to the action of the reaction between ethanoic acid and uh, ethanol. So carboxylic acid is ethanoic acid. So we are using sodium hydroxide. So we'll get the sodium salt of ethanoic acid. That is sodium ethanoate. So you will get what? CH3, COONA, not H, Na plus C2H5OH. So you're getting here ethyl ethanoate. And it undergoes hydrolysis in basic medium because NaOH is a base and it gives you sodium ethanoate or sodium acetate also it is called sodium ethanoate and ethanol. Right, so this is the example of saponification reaction that is basic medium hydrolysis of an ester. Right, so I hope that's absolutely clear to you. Right, let's come to the next chemical property of ethanoic acid. Right, the next chemical property of ethanoic acid. Now, ethanoic acid reacts with metals and bases, or you can say reaction with bases. Reaction with bases. So, this is pretty obvious. It is a very, very basic thing to understand because you know that you have done this in acid bases salts as well. That ethanoic acid reacts with a base to give salt and water basically it's a neutralization reaction it's pretty obvious to understand let's take a simple example ch3coh reacts with suppose your caoh hold twice which is again a base and it gives you ch3cooca plus h2o right this is your sodium not sodium calcium 
is no weight and your water and then you have your this is your calcium hydroxide which is again a base right so this is one example of reaction of ethanoic acid with the base you can take another example ch3coh reacts with naoh that is sodium hydroxide very very strong base to give ch3coona plus h2o so this is your sodium ethanoate or sodium acetate right so this is the reaction with bases right and now let's come to the last kind of reaction in your course that is reaction with hydrogen carbonates and carbonates reaction with carbonates and hydrogen carbonates now you know that hydrogen carbonates are also called bicarbonates okay so hydrogen carbonates or bicarbonates so what is the reaction well it's very very similar to your reaction with bases the only difference is that there is the production of another product which is carbon dioxide so ethanoic acid reacts with a carbonate or hydrogen carbonate and gives you salt plus carbon dioxide plus water simple thing right for example let's take ch3 cooh it reacts with na2co3 which is sodium carbonate and it gives you ch3 coona which is sodium acetate or sodium ethanoate along with carbon dioxide and water right let's take another example ch3 coh reacts with na hco3 that is sodium hydrogen carbonate or sodium bicarbonate and it gives you ch3 coona plus co2 plus h2o right so those are the chemical properties of ethanoic acid and with this we are done with the properties of ethanoic acid as well. Thank you very much for joining me. And in the next video, we'll be concluding this chapter with the final topic that is cleaning action of soap and soap and detergents. Thank you very much.